hello so this is my life manifesto this was dated january 1st 2024 and this is basically the manifesto that i read um i would be lying if i said i read it every day i probably read it about once or twice a week and this is how i see my life in three years so i'm just going to read it straight off of here i am 29 years old my life is romantic and beautiful and harmonious my work my romantic relationship my friends my family, my hobbies, my career, my travels, my home, and my belongings. Everything about my life is intentional. I feel joyful and peaceful. My marriage and the love my husband and I have for each other is sturdy, fun, and inspiring. I am in the best shape of my life. I have found a workout and regimen that I adore. It keeps me at a steady 12% body fat. My body is lean and toned. I have never had any sort of plastic surgery or Botox. I keep my skin youthful and radiant with tretinoin, face patches, and by staying hydrated. I maintain an aura of youthfulness, joy, and groundedness. My relationship. I am married to a man who pleases me in every way possible. He is kind, relentlessly ambitious, spontaneous, adventurous, loves seeing plays and orchestras with me, athletic, a natural leader, virtuous, eloquent, makes me laugh so hard my cheeks hurt, is playful but manly, proactive, clean, wealthy, isn't impressed by ostentatious people, loves my family and vice versa, passionate, loyal, nurturing, God-fearing, and cannot wait to be a father. He does things for me because he wants to and because he loves me, not so that he can keep tally and remind me later of all the things that he does for me. There is no other man like him. Somehow he always knows exactly what I need, physically, emotionally, personally. I am so attracted to him. I love how he takes care of his mind and his body. And then I say some things about our sexual life that I don't feel comfortable sharing on the internet. He loves taking care of me in ways that make me feel taken care of. He loves touching me, holding my hand while we drive, holding the back of my neck when we walk, places, placing his arms on my shoulders when we're in line. He just always wants to be touching me. He surprises me with meaningful gifts, notes, things I briefly mentioned, flowers, etc. He plans surprises for me. And in return, I take care of him in ways that make him feel taken care of. I love making him feel appreciated and loved. He is the love of my life and I cherish him. Everyone I know knows the love and respect that I have for my husband. I am gentle with him. I work hard to make our lives beautiful in every aspect. I am mindful of my emotions and I always look beautiful and appropriately put together. My home. We are living in a house on the water in a neighborhood that's close to everything that we could need. A co-working office, a quaint, reasonably priced coffee shop, a gym that I love, a grocery store that's kind of like fresh market, and a beautiful five mile path to walk on. We're not more than 20 minutes away from anything that we need, including restaurants, shopping, or places to go see performances. The house has dark wood accents, a beautiful bright kitchen with charming touches, four bedrooms, one is large enough for both my husband and I to use as a content room, four and a half baths, and an extensive view of the water. We pay $30,000 a month. The landlord absolutely loves us and doesn't need the money, so he's given us a fantastic deal on the house. It could easily rent for double the price. We have a house manager who comes twice a week to do laundry, dishes, run errands, spot clean, return packages, and anything else the household needs. I have a personal assistant who I just absolutely adore. She's an incredibly hard worker. She was made for this job and feels fulfilled by it. She helps me with emails, travel coordination, and anything else that I need. Parked in the driveway is a luxury sports car, potentially a Porsche 911 GTS, a luxury SUV, potentially an Audi Q8 or a Bentley. We also have a Triumph Street Twin 1200 and a Vespa GTS 300 that we toot around on. What's a house on the water without some toys? We have a beautiful boat that's large enough to host friends for a boat day, but small enough, small enough for us to be able to drive ourselves and take out for an impromptu sunset joyride. We also have paddle boards and two jet skis that we use for tubing and wakeboarding. I wake up every morning to the sound of birds chirping melodiously outside. I love that our master bedroom is small. It makes it feel cozy. We regularly have people over for dinners, parties, events, and just because. We love hosting family and friends for the weekend. Our backyard is simple but luxurious. I have two gardens that I tend to, a small kitchen garden and a flower garden. We have lots of grass for our dog to run around in, a pool to cool off in, and a patio area where we host outdoor dinner parties. My friends, 
I have a group of friends who bring out the best in me. My friends are successful, kind, cultured, witty, loving, and adventurous, and I am constantly inspired by them. I love them because we can have serious heart-to-heart -heart conversations one minute and be daring each other to do a backflip from a cliff the next. We just get each other. They get along so well with my husband, and my husband loves my friends. We all get together regularly for dinner parties, events, and random Friday nights just because we all want to have a movie night. Our husbands slash significant others all get along as well, and as a result, we love all taking trips together. My career. Quietly Becoming is known as a boutique coaching program that helps women ignite their feminine energy so that they can attract their dream man and have healthy, exciting, stable relationships. We have a community of women who are CEOs, stay-at-home moms, and entrepreneurs, all who have become effective communicators, leaders, partners, and contributors to their community, all while connecting to their divine feminine energy. I work one-on-one -on -one with five clients each month, but my main revenue comes from my community subscription and have built a community of women who are obsessed with who they become because of my coaching. I feel so purposeful and satisfied with my work. I have certifications in relationship and NLP coaching slash therapy. I'm still modeling and work about one job per month. I've been in Sports, is sports Illustrated, been on a billboard for a luxury brand, and travel all over the world for jobs. I go on annual volunteer trips around the world in preparation for starting my own foundation that will educate and nurture underprivileged children in America by teaching them about healthy relationships, personal development, and basic financial literacy. Hobbies. I'm, in my free time, I love to go dancing. I'm part of a club of people who are active. Sometimes we go running, play volleyball, play soccer, etc. I found I love being active with other people. That brings me a lot of joy, the competitiveness, the camaraderie, the accountability. I've taught myself how to code and love playing around with algorithms and games. I am fluent in French and I'm nearly fluent in Spanish and Italian. I love to go dancing. Clearly I love to go dancing, I said it twice. I dabble enough in art to satisfy my creative urges. So that is the entirety of my life manifesto. I read this minimum every two weeks with my boyfriend. Um, he reads mine and then I read his uh, as a part of our weekly meeting. And I have found that reviewing this keeps my goals in check. It makes sure that I'm staying on track now. I strongly believe in living for the present while planning for the future. And this kind of keeps me in balance of like enjoying being 26 right now, that's how old I am, and enjoying my youthfulness, but also being very intentional about the future. Um, I do edit this every now and then as things pop up. I'm like, oh, like that really inspires me. Or, you know, I think that we want, um, we, you know, my boyfriend just bought a motorcycle. Like I, we, I would love to have a motorcycle. So I do keep those things in mind. I do update it frequently. Um, and I also have pictures on here that are kind of like visual help aids for me. Um, but that is my life manifesto. And I like the three year time frame because it's, you know, everyone does a five-year plan, but I think three years is, three years happens very quickly. So I encourage you to make your own. And um, if you have any questions about it, comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.